Hi guys, back with another video on the Pico Motion Trackers and this time it's going to be covering virtual desktop and PC VR that can now use the Pico Motion Trackers. So there's a few things to watch out for here. I do only have the two physical trackers that you can see connected so that's only on my feet. I don't have the waist. If I had that you'd see a third. I believe there may be more coming later on but basically at the moment I think the maximum is free and what that does is estimate or use AI algorithm to give me shoulders, elbows, knees, waist, um, loads of other tracking points I don't actually have and present them to Steam VR to give Steam VR a good responsive skeleton. Um, that's great if you're just playing VR chat, but unfortunately the way Steam VR handles motion trackers um, of any kind, even the Vive trackers, um, you need to manually bind them to whatever the game is expecting to see. And unfortunately, everything else other than VR chat really only expects to see three trackers maximum. So a waist and your ankles or feet, I should say. So I'm going to cover how to actually get these working and change uh, the settings around to fix other games other than VR chat. So first of all, for virtual desktop, you need to bring up your virtual desktop screen, bring up your virtual desktop menu, just clicking just the menu button or back, back button on your left controller. And in the advanced options under streaming, you need to tick the box that says forward tracking data to PC and also tick the box that says emulate Steam VR Vive trackers. Only do this when you are actually connected and using your motion trackers in the in the system. So once you've got them presented to Steam VR, when you go into Steam VR, you're gonna basically see not on my screen at least, but on yours, you're gonna see a lot of uh, Vive trackers connected to Steam VR, and you don't necessarily want that. Unless you're just playing VR chat, you, you really don't want that. So you can see there's a few of these that are disabled on mine, not cover how to do that. So if you go into just the Steam VR settings, you can get to it from in headset or on your desktop. The VR settings itself, go to controllers, go to manage trackers, and from here, what you would normally expect is when you disable something, so I've just disabled my chest, it's not actually disabled it. You can still see I've got a green light showing against this tracker, which means it's still enabled and presented to Steam VR, which is not what I want to happen. So to fix this in virtual desktop, at least, the way they've handled this is basically trick it into doing a tracker roll that's not physically active. So to get rid of this chest and the hips and everything else I don't want, I'm going to change the tracker roll to held in hand and that then changes the actual tracker to fully disabled like red to steam vr so it can no longer be used so annoyingly this is the way that i need to fix my games i need to just go through and change everything to hold held in hand either keeping the waist which is called hips in virtual desktop keeping the, the hips and uh, left foot right foot or just using left foot and right foot, this is going to be game specific. And that is unfortunately just the way it's handled um, in, uh, in Steam VR. So let me just get rid of all of the ones I don't need. So uh, it's just going to be the only two that I need. And you can see I've only got two trackers connected now, which is left foot, right foot. So now when I would go into the full body tracking games, such as Dance Dash, Greatest Resistance, Final Soccer, Blade and Sorcery, these are going to work correctly. On Pico Connect, um, they have an overlay tool that handles that. You can disable them on the flight and it will fully disable. You don't need to change the tracker bindings. Um, and also they're connected obviously a bit more in depth being their own streamer and their own um, hardware. Blade Sorcery can see um, the trackers correctly on Pico Connect. You don't need to do anything like this. However, in Steam VR and Virtual Desktop, you still need to do this change that I've just shown you, setting just the hips and the feet don't have anything else in Blade and Sorcery. And that's going to be the same for pr practically everything else in my library with full body tracking. So Final Soccer, I just need feet. Path of Greatest res Resistance, I can use feet or feet and the hips. Dance Dash, I can use anything as long as I don't enable an avatar. If I enable an avatar, I need to just use the feet. So again, Torn of Low, Dragon Fist Kung Fu, Neos, I've not tried Neos. <laughs> Been there a long time. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to change your tracker roles, basically, to get your games working with the Pico Motion Trackers. So that's about as much as I can cover. If you're going to be using it in VR chat, they obviously still will work with just the feet. But ideally, go back in and just change it back. Um, it's very easy to do. Just 
Reed White says the hips is the only difference here. Hips is going to be your waist. And then everything else is pretty obvious. There will be some that don't actually work. So left hand wrist, you can set wrist and it won't actually populate anything because there isn't that support at the moment. So basically scapulars is going to be your shoulder. But again, that's not actually shoulder binding here. You're going to be like left arm upper. You you can figure this bit out. I won't go over it. It's going to be uh, quite an in-depth coverage if I go for everything. But yeah, that is how you fix Steam VR and the Pico Motion Trackers with Virtual Desktop. So I hope that helps. If you do find any other tips or any other means of doing this without having to do it all the time to the main Steam VR window, let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps someone out. And again, if you're using VR Chat, don't bother. This video isn't for you. Sorry for wasting your time. It's for everyone else that's not playing VR Chat and is playing more full body tracking games on Steam. So yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.